This is Don't Quit Your Daydream, where I am sharing stories of dreams that came to life. I'm interviewing members of the Creative Dream Circle so they can tell you about their uh, dreams, their creative projects, their businesses, all the cool things that they're making happen and putting out into the world. And also so we can talk a little bit about the obstacles that they faced and how they overcame them. I believe that the best source of inspiration is to hear the real stories of how other people make their dreams real. So let's dive in. I'm here with Ifya today. Ifya is working on accepting who she is and daring to share her light with the world. She is a sensitive, intuitive woman, mother and wife, reconnecting with Mother Earth and developing her skills as an organic artist. So thank you so much for being here with me today. Hi, Andrea. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Um, I was just, I was saying, you know, before we started, I love the artwork behind you and this is all your, your work. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, so tell us about your project. Yeah. Well, my project is my artwork <laughs> and, um, well, I, I put it there to, to show you my project as well. Um, because, um, my, yeah, my, my artwork is not. I always say it's not just art, but it's always um, more. It always has a deeper meaning. Um, I paint about uh, strong women. They're almost no, they're always women. <laughs> Sometimes my husband asks of my or my son, "Why don't you paint men?" But um, they always are women. Uh, I, I feel this need. This this I have to paint. Uh, this way and I have to paint like these strong sensitive women um, that are kind as well and um, uh, there's always light they, they always are about shining your light and um, they are always about uh, self-acceptance and self-love and um, it's, it's something I feel in here it's something like it has to come out. It, it comes up and I have to paint it. And um, I, also, I paint it for myself. First of all, I paint it for myself. It's always about a process I'm going through. But I've noticed that when I'm sharing it, I show it to people and then they, they get emotional or they can resonate with it. And I was like, wow, wow, okay. <laughs> um, so that's also um, a reason why I do this. And um, so it's not just for me, but it feels like it's also, um, there are kind of universal processes. People recognize themselves. And um, so that's why I paint. <laughs> and uh, uh, another desire I have, like a, really a heart's desire, is to make uh, a card deck of my paintings like oracle cards or maybe inspiration cards or um yeah that's that's something i i really really desire to do um but it's still a, a plan <laughs> it's still a desire but uh, at the moment i'm working on a painting for an exhibition and um, so that's the, that's the painting that's over there, will be there. And I have another one and uh, well, more are coming. And I'm working on um, uh, finding materials and practicing with them, uh, more organic materials. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's, you introduced me as, as what, what did you say about develop, developing to be an organic artist. <laughs> So that's also what I'm, I'm working, um, uh, how do you say that? Working towards, uh, because I'm also really into um, connecting to mother nature, to feel that we are part of nature. And uh, I found by, by using these organic materials, I also get closer to that. So I can like, yeah, I can like paint the creatures of nature with organic materials. It's like, it, it's, it's right, it feels right. So I'm also working towards more uh, yeah, organic, working in an organic way. 
Um, so I also have these, these nice little jars with pigments. They're like uh, only natural pigments, no, um, how do you call it, additives or chemical stuff in it. I just have to add water and then I get this, this really nice water paint. And I, I made this, this painting with this uh, paint. Wow. So I want to make uh, more paintings this way, and, but I'm also still uh, playing with it and experimenting. And, um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> that's so inspiring and you can really feel, yeah, the, the essence of what you're doing coming through the artwork. That's wonderful. Um, what was the big obstacle that would, like, made it hard for you to get started? Yeah, well, fear. It's, it's, I think it's always fear. <laughs> um, fear of not being good enough. Um, I actually started uh, make, yeah, not making art, but yeah, in high school, uh, you, I got these lessons in drawing and um, painting, and but I don't know, some somewhere, somehow, someone, I don't know if they said it to me or I said it to myself, I can't draw. So I said, I can't draw, so I'm, I'm not gonna do anything with it. But um, I really liked it and I, I did other things. I, I worked with fabrics in high school. I really loved making art with fabrics. And I said, oh, maybe I can go to art school. I never did. I, I was like, no, no, you can't do that. No, <laughs> are you crazy? <laughs> you have to do something to, to earn money, not do something like that. <laughs> so I never went to art school. Um, I did all these other things. Mostly I studied biology. I, I did other studies more into nature actually, and with animals. And, um, uh, but this art part always came back to me. And, um, and I, I have lived abroad for nine years. I've lived in Sweden and there was a lot of nature. <laughs> it was really nice. And my husband is actually a biologist now. So he works um, as a biologist. Um, but I got kind of stuck in it. I, I, I got totally stuck. And I, I was like, no, I can't. This is not my path. And then I started painting again. And I started doing uh, yoga and meditation. And um, um, so this, this art came back to me. Um, but I was still like, no, you can't do this. <laughs> I have this, this, this really strong inner critic. It's really, it's just huge, this fear of not being good enough. It was like a dinosaur. Um, so, this has, has kept me from making art for, I think, more than 20 years. Oh. And, and now, um, so when I, I was in Sweden and when I had more, um, more space, literally, because there's much more space and nature than we have here in the Netherlands, where I live now, I, I kind of felt there was more space for the art as well <laughs> to develop again. But um, it's still with every step I want to take, there's a dinosaur again, <laughs> this big fear. And um, what, what helped me get started was what, like the this, this space, giving myself space, but also the meditation and the yoga, like coming down from all these thoughts going on in my head. I came down in my body and felt this, this desire of my heart again. Um, so that really helped me get started and um, oh, oh, meeting like-minded people also really helps me. Um, they inspire me, they, uh, yeah, we feed each other on, on our, with our light, with our energy. I mean, that's it's, it's really a big part that helps me. Um, and, and of course, joining your circle, Andrea, <laughs> um, that, that really helps me to, to take it a step further. Um, for instance, this interview, I would never have done this like for two years ago. Um, and um, especially the part 
um, of meeting my dream. I, I, I don't do it every day. I, I just can't with the kids and everything else, but I, I do it um, as often if I, um, as I can, what is possible. And um, this really helps me when this fear comes up and this fear tries to lead me away from what I want to do. This leads me away from my heart's desire, takes me to my head, takes me to all these negative thoughts in the direction. And um, uh, it says to me like, uh, no, you, you shouldn't do art. You should become a teacher or something else. Let's try that. Um, but when I meet my dream, I come back to my heart's desire and I feel it again. I feel the passion for these organic materials, for, for these women I paint and for, I, I can feel it again. So this meeting with my dream um, really helps me to, to stay on track, <laughs> to stay focused. And um, yeah, I do, I do also, um, I've done other lessons of your circle and um, I really like the part where you say that all fears are allowed. And I mean, I'm also like that, like uh, everything that's going on and everything that's already here is here. So, <laughs> I mean, I have to deal with it. I have to do something with it. And when I, I give it love, that's also I learned something I learned from you. Like you can give it love. I was always like, okay, I can listen to it, but give it love. <laughs> okay, let's try that. <laughs> and then it, it changes and it's, it's not this huge dinosaur anymore. It's like, it always becomes smaller and it always becomes something I can talk with, not only to or, but yeah, it helps me um, deal with this dinosaur or this, yeah, these fears and thoughts. Yeah, I'm so grateful for how um, how open and honest you were too about, about talking about how it feels and um, that fear of like, what if I'm not good enough? Because I, I think everyone has it, and we don't even want to admit that we feel that way, and that unwillingness to even look at how we feel stops us from ever being able to start painting or to do what whatever it is, and it's. Yeah to watch you talk about it because you can see what happens like in your face and the way you're talking when you're talking about connecting back with your heart desire or you might have yeah it. it's just like oh we have um like we have that inner truth which comes with you know all sorts of wisdom and creativity and courage and, and power and we can always connect back into it it can really like mm -hmm. the way that you're talking so i'm really really grateful for you because it's very vulnerable to share and I should have mentioned at the beginning too that English isn't even your your first language and here you are sharing and it's just like that's so brave and mm -hmm. so inspiring so I'm really really grateful for <laughs> everything that you just shared and how showing how how you can move through that and the dinosaur doesn't have to stay a big dinosaur and look at this amazing art you've created and you're creating more right and so you're just in that creative momentum that's so inspiring. <laughs> mm. so the exhibit that you're working towards, is that going to be on, online anywhere that people can see? Um, no, it's here. I, I live in this, yeah, this area. We have a restaurant here and there they will have my paintings on the walls. Mm. So, but I, yeah, I could make some pictures, but um, um, most of my art you can find on my Instagram and my Facebook page. And I also have a website. But that is not in English yet. <laughs> it's been my intention for quite some time to make it in English, but the dinosaur is still on it. <laughs> so, but I, I will get there. Um, I, I so I think all of your yeah, the Instagram, Facebook, and the website, so people can check that out for sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I just wanted to add because you. Uh, said about a willingness to see or to feel your fear um, and, and being vulnerable. Um, that's something I really learned um, also in Sweden because when I was there, I, I didn't know the language and I learned Swedish 
and I actually um, have worked as a teacher. Uh, oh. And I was I was also teaching in Swedish, <laughs> and and when I was doing it, I was teaching mindfulness in Swedish. <laughs> so that really learned me also that um, it's okay. I mean, also it's okay to to show your vulnerability. It even it makes me stronger. I can feel it, yeah. and then when I see other people share, sharing it or showing it, I'm, I'm also like, wow. This is a real person. It's yeah. So it's kind of my thing as well. <laughs> to to show it or to paint about it or yeah. Oh you can see it in, in your artwork for sure, yeah. Mm. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> well thank you so much for being here. Yeah, that's this has been so inspiring and amazing and I know everyone's everyone's gonna love it and I'll put the links below. Um, go in and check out I mean the website I mean I was looking at it it still has some artwork on it but yeah yeah you can see lots of uh, lots of great great pictures and you know to connect with other people who are on the same journey I would, I was, you were you were talking about that as well right so if you want to um, follow if then you can you know get that um, you know inspiration in, a, in an on ongoing way and that's part of why I'm doing these interviews too, to just shine a light on what everyone else is doing because you guys are, you're doing amazing things. So yeah, again, thank you. Thank you so much for, for being here. And I'm excited to see the, the rest of your art that you're creating for the show. Mm, thank you. <laughs>